welcome to my first video of 2023. This year the accessibility guy will have got lots of stuff new Apple products the new version of Android which will be W Android 14 and the new version of iOS which will be iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 and watch OS 10 along with one year university of my Motorola Edge Plus phone from 2020 which will be on March 1st. My one year review even though it's damaged and I broke it by mistake my mom and me did. <coughs> even though I sadly made it worse but anyhow. Plus my one year review on my stupid Samsung Galaxy F53 phone. Which I will do the video on November 16th even though November 15 is the day I got it this past year. I was thinking of selling this phone after I get my next brand new phone that I will have for the next three years of my life. New Samsung products and new Google and special video about what I think phones it's a new generation of smartphones and rumors of the world's first ever solar power phone and more information about the end of Tim Cook in two and a half years from Apple. Lots of stuff to look forward to in 2023 from the accessibility guy, which is me plus a brand new dance rowdy and a dance face off. <laughs> you don't want to miss that video. So like always first video of the year. Hi my name is the accessibility guy aka Warren and this year I will celebrate my fourth year in university of doing YouTube at the end of May and the start of my fifth year of doing YouTube at the beginning of June. So there's lots to look forward to. There's a few things I am looking forward to in 2023. First of all me getting myself my brand new phone and to keep up to date on iOS software I have got an iPad Pro even though it's 5 years ago Apple changed iPad on iOS to iPad OS so thoughts why in April on the 17th will be 3 years exactly since I got my iPhone SE 2 the software on it might or might not be supported after 3 years. I won't going to risk it. I am going to buy the next model of iPhone SE 2 which is iPhone SE 3 which is the same size phone 4.7 inch display it has got 90 hertz refresh rate and it has got newer Apple chip in it which is a 15 bionic from a 13 bionic and a shikely bigger battery. But not by much at all, only 200 mAh more roughly from 1821 mAh battery cell in the iPhone SE 2 to a 2040 mAh battery cell in the iPhone SE 3. And for me to know the difference I will get the iPhone SE 3 256 gigabyte model in Starlight. And my iPhone SE 2 is product red which is a 128 gigabyte model which both really nice and pretty colors Apple done a great job with colors actually I love my iPhone SE 2 more than my Samsung Galaxy A5 3 because of the color and because I love Apple even though Apple is about three years out of date compared to other big phone giants like Samsung and Google I don't mind black but my Motorola Edge Plus that I broke by mistake was this midnight blue color which I really liked. Mm. So when I get my new iPhone SE I would buy the one in starlight color. So this year I possibly might be getting two brand new phones. I know I will getting this iPhone SE 3 and I might be getting the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra which is expected to launch on February 17th but Samsung will have their unpacked event on February 1st. We'll be to finally be watching that.
Uh, um, um. <coughs> the reason I don't want to get the iPhone SE 3 even though it has been out since last April 2022 is because I don't need a new one yet my iPhone SE 2 still works really well. I mostly do my sermon notes on it and watch TikToks on it and take notes like tracking stuff like I can show you I have been tracking the NHL hockey of the Boston Bruins, which are my, my favorite team of all time. I have been tracking every game they play this season. And Boston wow, are playing really well I just can't believe how well they are playing. Only lost 8 out of their 43 games they played, wow. Same as Toronto Maple Leafs, they are on fire too. Boston Bruins played last night, and they won 4-1 against the New York Islanders. They play tonight, they are playing now against New York Rangers, a different New York team in New York Rangers Arena. Let's just see what happens. Hopefully Toronto can do better in the playoffs this year that they have been. Hopefully they will make it to the second round as much. I am not a Leaf fan at all. One year in my lifetime I want to see the Leafs go all the way and win the Stanley Cup. So we shall see what happens. So anyways back to things I am looking for reward to in 2023. Two new phones. <laughs> Going back to summer camp OPC this summer. Going swimming. Spend some time with the cottage either go back to in-person school in September or do my third year of night school which works much better for me. All pre-recorded school online. Some people think I can't do a whole school day at night, but I can. First five of Marvel Cleantic Universe starts soon and the first MCU movie of Farce 5 will be Paul Rudd staring Ant-Man and the Wasp Quanhamania, which set to come out on February 17th which is the same day as the new lineup of phones to be released yeah. by Samsung. I might get the Samsung Galaxy <laughs> S23 Ultra as my sixth phone of my life. First 4 ended last year on November 11th with Black Panther sequel Renaka Forever which I haven't seen it yet but on February 1st, when you can buy it on the it copy I will get it and watch it. I haven't seen that movie yet. I wanted to go opening night last year. But one of my family members couldn't take me because he went away somewhere he couldn't take me and my best friend was away but in just a few weeks on February 1st you can buy it at home on digital copy like when I bought for Love and Thunder movie last summer and that movie was really awesome. My favorite actor of the MCU is Chris Hymworth who played Thor, but sadly he might call it quits after Thor 5 movie comes out on the Day in 2025 might be either 2025 or 2026 I don't remember exactly. It will be really sad like what happened with Robert Downey Jr. last year. He left the MCU Seeker franchise. I wonder if Iron Man will come back and who will play Iron Man now. Same happened with Chris Evans who played Captain Amersha. Spoiler alert we might be getting three new people who will be in the franchise. One is The Rock Dwayne Johnston and one might be haven't confirmed yet but Jenna Organ that played Wednesday Friday Adams in the hit Netflix TV show called Wednesday but she is only 20 years old. Actually don't tell anyone but between you and me I have got a small crush on her. 
She was perfect for the Wednesday Addams role for the show. She looks a lot like Wednesday Addams. Sorry guys, but when I edit one of my notes, I have that clearest one of my other notes for this video. So sorry, I am missing a note by mistake. My apologies is moving on with this video. Google Pixel 8 and 8 Pro and Google Pixel Watch 2nd General Just Dance 2024 at the end of the year. Guinness Book of World Records 2024. My 11th year end PowerPoint. The top 20 countdown on both 91.5 The Beat and 103.5 UCB in Bancroft, Ontario, Canada. Wow, I am exhausted for this year to come. So let's start off this video with talking about the Apple event that we had yesterday called Everything Ends. Apparently this may be the final year for the iPhone, but I don't think it's true. I am having a hard time believing that. It was really good talked about lots of things. Tim Cook and his team covered off. Apple's brand new product, it's not the Apple Glass. It is their RVR headset, and they called it Apple View. This product with combined augmented and virtual reality, and it is expected to be priced around wow mamma mia holy crap man 4000 bucks wow jumpine. It will feature 4K Mirko OLED displays a comfortable headband. A mesh material that that goes against the face and again features like iris scanning for authentication and facial expression detection. You can read all about it on Google about it. I don't know how good it will be in for that much, who wants to spend four grand on a headset. I don't get it. I think Apple will tell us when we expect them to ship to stores. It will ship on January 24th which is already next Wednesday. It will look like this. It will be called Apple View. I don't think I will buy one of these. It's a new way of expressing life. Apple's second product are the 14-inch and the 16-inch MacBook Pros. Apple's third product they will be announcing is their M2 Mac Mini. Their last product they announced was MacBook Pro with M2 Pro and Mac chips in them. I will cover each of them off later this year in my videos. They missed by surprise their HomePod 2 models, that will come in black and white. They haven't released a HomePod in 5 years so and I might be getting one of these for myself when it comes out on February 3rd I always wanted to have one. I was planning on buying the last one but Apple decided to discontinue it but now Apple came back with the HomePod in 2023 those things are really pretty cool and awesome. Apple usually has got four Apple keynotes plus their big WWDC at the beginning of June. Apple's next keynote event of 2023 will be on March 7th. Maybe we will get five keynotes an event. <coughs> there will be one in January, which usually doesn't happen. There will be one in March. WWDC 2023 in June 1 in September, and maybe one in October or November. Yesterday's Apple event had been only 53 minutes so not even an hour I wrote all of the info down yesterday when I watched the keynote. It was called Everything Ends, and here is a picture of it. I am looking forward to see what Apple has got in store in 2023 with products and software.
has got in store for us all in 2023. My passion is learning all about this stuff. I am probably the most looking excited with Apple this year is probably their new iPhone 15 models Apple Watch Series 9 maybe a new Apple Pencil 3rd General as always. Of course WWDC 2023 with next General of iOS software which will be iOS 17 and Watch OS 10. Sadly it's too early for me to show you photos of the new iPhone 15, or Apple Watch Series 9, or any new software major verisons. In February of next month I am 70% sure I am going to get the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra either that model, or the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus. This year could be their last year of making the Plus model. Next year in 2024 I might not have the Plus model just the S24 and the S24 Ultra. I never thought I ever want to have the Ultra because it's kind of awkward to hold in your hand. But this year will be some big changes made to the Ultra. Like Samsung first ever 200 megapixel camera and new colors like baby blue and rose pink. I will probably buy the black or the rose pink. I think that this might just be my next phone of my life for a solid three years or more. I expect to pay big bucks on this phone. Fun fact. It is better to buy a smartphone outright rather than paying so and so for 25 months, which is the next two years because you always save some dough like for example. Last year's model Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If your carrier is Rogers over the two years you will be paying $403 as a down payment, plus 93 bucks for 24 months, which will equal $2,635 rather than $2,080 bucks while so you are saving $555 bucks from buying it outright rather than then over the period of 24 months. Wow crazy so I don't want to put anyone and my family under the bus, but if my dad only bought his Samsung Galaxy S21 plus phone that he gotten about 11 months ago he would pay $13.36.90 but instead he decided to pay over the course of two years so on February 26th of 2024 he would have paid for his phone for $14.50 bucks which is $115 more. So now you all know it's better to buy your new phone outright rather than over the two years. Mm. I am going to buy my brand new phone outright rather than doing that. Lots of people will learn this really good tip from me. Anyways. I am still on the fence at deciding which phone I will get as my phone for the next three years of my life. I will get either the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is this phone that comes with a stylus pen like my Apple Pencil came with. Either that or wait until middle of October this year to buy the all new Google Pixel A Pro which some rumors already online about that and I am sorry Google Images haven't come out with a picture of it. No matter what in April on the 17th we'll buy the iPhone SE 3 in Starlight 256 GB model because I really like enjoying taking a bunch of notes on it. So thoughts why? Here is the phone I am going to get. Anyways let's see what I end up going with. Stay tuned at the end of this video as always if you enjoy this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to me and as always from the accessibility guy thanks for watching see you next time. Yep.
happy flu. I am done my first video of 2023. Oh dang it all. I didn't realize I am still recording. Bye guys. But wait, hold on, there's more of this just in from Apple headquarters from Apple Park that sadly some people have been suing Apple for making the exacter same phone two years in a row and charging customers about 400 more bucks don't buy iPhone 14 if you haven't already the iPhone 15 hopefully would be much better and it will have topic buttons and USB type C finally and as of January 1st 2023 all Apple products are expected to have USB type C thoughts what I want to say from Tim Cook from Apple Park see you guys on March 7th for our next Apple event Bye.